Aaron, no doubt a uh, difficult afternoon here in Kent. What's your assessment of the defeat against Tombridge? Yeah, it was, uh, it was poor. It was poor first and foremost. Uh, you know, uh, I can't keep doing this, but I do apologise to the supporters. The, the away form this season um, has been nowhere near good enough and the, the amount of money and time and effort that people spend to come and support us uh, um, uh, and it's it's not been good enough from us on the pitch. So I can only apologise. Uh, what I do know is that uh, I have to take responsibility um, for the players because I put them out there. I've given the the uh, the players the opportunity and I've given them the uh, the plan. So it's on me, um, and I'll make sure that I look at myself, reflect, um, and get the boys going because um, at this moment in time we're in a we're in a, a sticky situation. That's for sure. Um, but I do know that. Uh, we need to make sure that we fight and we show um, passion and commitment and I'll make sure I instill that in the players moving forward because that's, that's so important because we had it in parts today but, but not enough and the, the goals are, are, are avoidable um, to say the least and uh, there's a clear um, issues in, 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 uh, in our goals against column um, that needs to be that should have been addressed a long time ago um, so there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of fight that I need to show to, to and, and leadership to show the players that um, that we've got um, a situation on our hands that we really need some people to, to stand up and be counted uh, and I'll make sure I'm one of them. Your team seem to enjoy lots of possession at various parts of the game but weren't able to work the keeper too much. Is that one of the primary frustrations today? Yeah, uh, credit to them. You know, they, they defended resolutely and they when they nicked it off us, they broke it at, at pace and they've got one or two players at the top end of the pitch that are good on counter-attacks. We knew that, we, we were aware of that, we just didn't deal with it um, and that's a frustrating thing. Um, you know, we, we wanted to come here and, and dominate the ball and I felt possession-wise we did, but again, that cutting edge and that clinical nature was, was not there for us um, and a few sloppy passes were punished by them. Uh, and you know that's sort of yeah a definite frustration um, but again we've got to rectify that you mentioned the the goals against kind of obviously the first three games your your team looked pretty solid at the back have you any idea at all or are you able to identify at all what's happened in the last couple of games it's a little bit which I'm not sure why, but a little bit to do with confidence. And it's, it's uh, you know, we've got to work really hard. We've had to work really hard to instill confidence in them. And, and it seems to have gone a little bit again. Um, and, and goals will do that to you. And, we've, you know, it's a, it's a brutal industry and it's a brutal game. And when it's going well, it's, it's easy. And when it's not, you need to stand up and be counted. Uh, and that's what I've got to make sure that I show to the players that I'm really I'm ready for it. I'm willing. Um, we're in this together. We have this is the team and the squad that's going to get us um, out of trouble. So we've got to be making sure that we're fighting for every seconds, every first, every second, and then making sure we're we're, we're switched on and con and concentrating for for those uh, for those 90 minutes. And I feel the last couple of games. Uh, our mistakes have been punished and we've not been able to punish the opposition mistakes so we've got to make sure that uh, that we're a little bit more switched on in those moments and uh, yeah you've got a clear week now until Hampton come to play more next Saturday does that uh, is that a little bit of a relief that you've got a week to spend with the players now to try and adjust a few things yes it's going to be really important. We need to go into the Hampton game. That's going to be a massive uh, game for the football club, for the for the supporters, um, for for um, everybody that is coming to that game because we know there's uh, Devon Day. So it's a really good opportunity for us to work really hard this week um, in making sure that we're solid, we're resolute, um, we've got an attacking threat, and trying to turn that the the last two games around because we we really needed a reaction today to show the supporters we're up for the fight, and we didn't produce that. Um, and that's on me. That is is, is really hard for me to, to take and um, because I really thought we'd come out and, and give a positive account of ourselves so we have to really dust ourselves down get over it quick uh, we can't feel sorry for ourselves um, you know and we've got to make sure that we've got that that fight and that passion in us um, for this football club because we we uh, we need a, a big end to the season now and uh, and it's got to start on Saturday so it's a really important week for us this week and we're going to make sure that we work ever so hard on the training ground to, to, to put a performance in on Saturday um, that's going to start the turning things around. Brilliant, thank you for joining us, I much appreciate it. Thank you and thank you for everyone who's come.